Hi, I'm Julia. I'm a junior. Hi, I'm Lily. I'm a junior. Hi, I'm Courtney. I'm a junior. I'm Tori. I'm a senior. Oh. Oh. Even with only three students, it's still pretty good. Okay. And this is our group piece entitled Paper, Paper Cups, Cups of Black, Black Coffee. Don't get me wrong, I know this uniform sets a stereotype about me, but I can't remember the last time that even got to me. Because when I'm walking down the school hallway every Wednesday morning sipping on my caramel mocha, mocha frappuccino, it's more grande than Ariana, my mind is in paradise. Even though my body sure as hell isn't. <laughs> and when my friends ask what I'm drinking and laugh when I can pronounce the whole name without tripping up a bit, I laugh with them. When they call me a white girl, I laugh again because, I mean, <laughs> hey, they're not wrong. <laughs> but there is one thing that sets me off about it. A lot of people tend to think that just because someone goes on some plaid and a polo to go to school every day, that they're just a bunch of ignorant, ignorant private school kids. kids. Who care more about what's happening in some dusty old book that's a few hundred years old than what's, what's happening, happening in, in the, the world. world? In 2016, we had mechanized fields. Subtweet Starbucks. Ugh. In 2017, we don't pay farmers. We filtered them down to the small uses, like leftover coffee grinds after a strong cup of joe. This, this leaves, leaves my stomach, stomach feeling queasy. It's the only feeling I get after drinking coffee on an empty stomach. These facts are too bitter. I sweeten the surreal with sugar and cream by throwing a buck in the barista's tip jar. And similar to the black juice we love are the forgotten ones who wash their clothes off in those darkened rivers. <clears throat> Except that bittersweet feeling we get when we're on the last drop of coffee from our cup is far from the unclear tensions that sit within that river. So I tip the jar with hopes that I never go back to that place. But, but I, I do. do. We preach of such things as serving the poor, crying out strongly to a crowd that agrees with our every word. Yet the loudest are the same as those who do not act, not unlike the aforementioned coffee. The coffee that remains untouched is an acquired taste. Not many enjoy it, and those who do are seen as outliers. Then you get to the other end of the spectrum, sugared up beyond recognition. Sure, it still goes as coffee, but barely. Coffee, coffee smells, smells like, like regret. regret. It's the first thing my dad drinks in the morning after a night he's already forgotten. My sister used to drink coffee whenever she was nervous. She drinks it all the time now. My grandfather used to take coffee with his eggs and bacon, but he struggled to drink it with the oxygen in his nose. Sometimes I wonder if there's a difference anymore between, between oxygen and coffee, coffie, between powering yourself and sustaining yourself, between getting out of bed and forcing yourself out. I don't want to continue to live from cappuccino to cappuccino, but I don't know if I know any other way.